Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome to Draw2. My name is Ramney and this is another episode of How to Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, comics, books, and video games. If this is your first time here and you want to see more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to press that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon to get notified anytime that I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need for this tutorial. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. If you still find that this video is going way too fast, you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right to slow it down. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. Hey, what's up you guys? So for this diva tutorial, we've got our paper in portrait mode and we're going to be drawing her up to mid thigh and let's get started. Uh, before we start, I'm only going to be drawing divas, like the character diva and not her mech. Her mech is going to be um, a different tutorial if I do get around to it because I mean, doing the mech and diva is just way too, like that's a lot of, that's two characters essentially. So um, that's way too many for this tutorial. Let's get started by drawing a circle right here about this big. All right. So as you guys can see, it's it's at the top and it's slightly to the right. And we're kind of just going to shape her face. Her face is very anime based. Well, Overwatch is pretty much like has anime designs. But uh, Diva in particular is Korean. So she's got these Asian like features, which we've come to know from anime. So here he is, here she is. He's, she's got her chin closer to this side. So if I draw a line like this, then you'll know that she'll be facing the right. Okay, so there's there's the head and kind of just a, a, a general idea of how the hair is going to go. I'm just going to do this for now. Let's draw the neck. Tiny little line going down below the chin. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. And then right here, this goes down as well. You don't want that chin, uh, you don't want the neck to be too thick, you guys. All right, so here I'm going to draw just a straight line. And you notice that this line is not straight across this way, but it's angled slightly higher on this side. Okay, so not too much though. All right, from there, let's kind of draw the chest area. So from here, kind of just gonna start drawing a curve this way and from here a curve or just a line this way and then it starts to curve like this. Now her, her bodysuit is kind of tight. So it does that and it does this. And this would be like where the center of her body is. So let me draw that line. It kind of goes down that way. And then it kind of angles like this slightly. There you go. Okay. From here, it gets narrower like that. And over here, we're going to go on this side. Now you don't want it too thick. You don't want her like the back to be too big. So you want to watch it. You, you don't want this to be like so wide like this that it becomes weird. So she's supposed to have the proportions of a teenager. There you go. So that's kind of what we want it to look like. Now make sure that this is kind of, this is kind of where the waist is. You want to make sure that this is kind of squarish and not too long. You want to make sure that that's about square. And you don't, like I said, you don't want the back these back uh, things to be so wide that she starts to look muscular because she's not a muscular character. She's fairly skinny, but she's not built or anything. So there you go. This is the narrowest part of the waist. And then it just gets wider from there. It gets wi more wide this way because she's got her waist kind of tilted. So this thing kind of goes down, opens up a little bit, becomes wider. So here it gets wider than here. So you notice that the waist is wider and looks like that. Okay, so here's the torso. Find a spot here. This is going to be the, kind of like the bikini line. Goes to here, here's the crotch. And then this goes this way, like this. Okay, this thigh goes in front of this thigh. And then once you have that, you've got her general pose and her body. Now just fix it up and Check the proportions, make sure that everything looks good. Nothing's too small, nothing's too big, nothing's overly 
gigantic. So there's that. Let's go over here and let's work on the shoulders. Over here, she's going to have her hand resting on like a part of her mech suit, I think, is going to be over here or something. She's leaning on something. But first, we're going to figure out where her hand is going to go. So let's draw her hand first. And it's going to start right here. And it's going to go this way. Okay, one line diagonal like this and then goes down and it goes this way. So there's there's her finger. That's her finger right there. And I'm kind of going to draw that finger. Okay, right here, here is where she's going to have the rest of her fingers. So I'm just going to draw a straight line like this, one more like this, and one more like that. Okay, over here, I'm going to draw a curve. And right here, I'm, I'm going to start bending the, the, the wrist here and here. So it looks like, looks like this. So this goes this way, and it kind of goes wider as you go this way. And you want it to go this wide and this small. Hopefully, if you guys did that right, we're going to leave it like this for now. If you guys did this right, then you should have enough space to create the upper arm from here to the armpit. And then from here, going up to this shoulder line like that. Okay. Zoom out. Now we're going to draw this. In the original photo, she's got her hand. Her, she's got her hand going up and she's holding a gun, but I'll be honest, that gun is going to take another 15 minutes of like drawing tutorials because it's pretty complicated. So what we're going to sim what we're going to do to simplify this drawing is we're going to bring this down instead. So we're going to kind of just bring the arm through here. Here's the shoulder. And we're just going to bring the arm behind her like this. Okay. So here's the shoulder. You want to make sure that the arms are similar in size. One is not too thick. One is not thicker than the other. And then it gets wider here. This is going to be like the little elbow point. All right. So once we have that, you guys, that is our basic shape, the base for Diva. You know, just figure out where the hair is going to go. It's going to go like this and it's going to come out over here. There you go. I guess we could have centered this a little bit more, but that's okay. All right, so now let's get to the face and sharpen up your pencils or grab another pencil. I always like to have, like right beside me, I always like to have more pencils than I need so that, you know, I could just take one if I need a sharper uh, tip. So I took a sharper tip. Here we go. Here's Diva's face. Let's figure out the eyes. Eyes are going to be right around here. Nose is going to be right about here. She's going to be blowing a bubble. So we won't see much of her lips. I'm going to draw that bubble as a circle. I hope you guys got your circle practice in. So there's that. Okay. From there, let's draw the nose. And the nose is going to, well, you know what? Let's figure out the eyes first. And the eyes are going to arc like this. And then a line like that. And then a straighter line at the bottom. Okay, this one goes further this way. Arcs. Here's an arc. This goes across and this goes up. So there you go. Actually, I think I may have done that one a little too far. So I'm going to bring that closer. I'm going to make it wider. So it arcs at the top, little curve over here, and then a much straighter line at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to th make it thick at the top because that's going to be the eyelashes. So I just thicken that line as well as the side, this side anyway. And over here, you don't see much of that. Okay. And then let's figure out the pupils. They're going to be looking this way. So I'm going to bring the pupils to the right of the eye circle, half circle inside. I kind of split that half circle inside and I'm going to shade in the left half. So it should leave you with Kind of looks funny now, but if you do it right, you guys, you should have a shine in the pupil. Okay, there's a half circle. There you go. All right, here's the eyebrow kind of goes like this. And then here kind of goes around to here. Now, this is the tricky part of drawing any female uh, character is uh, sometimes it takes 
more than one shot, like more than one take to to get your your characters looking um, attractive. And sometimes you mess up, and you gotta change things. So that's the that's the problem with doing these tutorials is there's kind of pressure on you to try to get all of them looking good in one shot when that's not reality at all. Like there ha there are times I've had to redo an entire tutorial because I messed up on the face. And there are tutorials that I kind of left alone that I should have done, like I should have redone because the face is messed up. Okay, I'm going to bring this up to the eyebrow, that line. And then I'm going to bring this higher up like this. All right, now for the nose. The nose goes like this. And if I, if I were to erase the bubble a little bit so you can see how it goes, it just makes a little tip like this. And then you get a little arc right there. And then kind of like an L shape. And then you just figure out where to put those so that your drawing looks attractive. It's just a matter of placement sometimes. So you just find out where it looks good. And if it looks good, keep it there. Okay? It takes a couple of tries and that's okay. There you go. And then the lips, just a triangle. There you go. There's Diva. Of course, it's not Diva. Let me erase these. It's not Diva without her face paint, which is two triangles over here. Let's cover, let's cover this up first. So I'm, I'm erasing part of her face because she's got some headphones in. So right along the side of the eye, about this far away. I'm going to draw the headphones and it goes down this way to there. And then this kind of goes out like that. All right. Now over here, we're going to kind of draw an egg shape. Well, it looks like an egg. It's like a U. And then this goes straight this way. And then it goes up like this. Okay. And then right here, you get a little bit of her hair covering this part. So we're gonna, we're gonna draw it like this. And then at this point, it kind of goes over her head. Let's kind of figure out where her hair goes so that we know where the top of the head is. Okay. Uh, we're gonna work on the bangs. Start here, I draw this line. And then she's got like this, the direction of the, the wave of her hair is this way. And the way that I do it is just really random. I make these wave looking things, make these triangles. And as you get to this point, the triangles kind of change direction. So you guys see it's kind of going like this, but as you get to here, it's starting to change and starts to go this way. So I go over here, there you go. So you guys, can you guys notice that the wave of the hair changes directions the more you go to the left? Okay, let's go over here, comes out here, goes up to there. This kind of goes up as well. Curves, a nice smooth curve going up and goes around to this side. Okay, now, we've, now we know where the headphones are gonna go. So let's put the headphones there. And the headphones are kind of, they're not, they're not round. So let's draw those. I'm gonna draw two lines like this over here. And then right here is one sharp line goes like that. Over here, I'm going to draw two lines, one here and one here, and then one that curves from here to there. Okay. That goes like this. That goes down. You want to make sure that these are parallel. These are parallel. And then this kind of gets thinner as you go this way. Okay. So it's wide here and it gets narrower and narrower and narrower until you get to there. There you go. She's got I'm gonna draw a rectangle here and here. It's like a little pink patch. She's got it on this side too. You don't see much of it. Okay, let's go back over here. Rectangle. And then an antenna that gets narrower as you go higher up. So there you go. All right, not quite done with the face. We have one final detail that we need to draw. Of course, she's got some pink face paint that are triangles. So one there, one here. 
And then over here, you don't see much of it. You just see a little point, one little point right there. All right, so here's Diva. I'm gonna bring her hair a little further like this. I'll make it go a little further out like that. And then, so I'm gonna have this one lock and then some going this way. And then I'm just gonna draw this as one big bunch. Bunch, is that the right thing for hair? Lock. And then just kind of to show how the hair goes, I just draw some random lines, but not entire strands. Okay, same thing here. Just to show where the hair goes. There you go, we're kind of done up here. I'm just gonna draw this little shape right here and then a line going across, just some details and then a line kind of splitting the antenna in two. And then of course the hair on this side, just add some detail, make it look like hair. Hair behind the bubble, not hair on the bubble. That would be weird. Okay, now let's get started with Diva's body, body suit, which I mean, the way that Diva is designed, it looks like she's a race car driver and her mech suit is her race car. So, I mean, that's the cool stuff that she has. Like she's got sponsors and all that stuff on her uniform, which is really cool. A nice cool little detail that uh, Blizzard has made for us. Okay, so here's the neck. I'm gonna make that collar piece stick out. So it goes out like this. She's got this, it's almost like the Superman logo shape on the neck there, just above this line. Okay, so you draw that and then right in the center, it goes this way and this way. And then above this over here, draw a line, two lines, and then a triangle kind of going like this. And the way that you should have it is, you should draw two lines going from here to there and here to this point. And same thing on this side, although you don't see much of it. There you go. Now, I'm gonna slowly kind of erase these things. She's got this suit. We're gonna start with two lines over here, right in the center. And then this line goes up and this line goes up. Make sure they're kind of parallel. And then it goes across this way. And then this one goes across to the shoulder. They both kind of go to the shoulder, okay? This sort of follows. And then it goes across and it gets narrower until you don't see much of it anymore. And then same thing here, it goes this way until you don't see it anymore either. Okay, this point right here, we're going to draw two lines going out like this. And then this goes just above the chest. So you make sure that you've got some space for the chest because it kind of gives that roundedness, sort of creates the roundedness as well of the chest. So it makes that C, C shape. Okay, it goes like this. And then over here, this way, this way, down to the armpit. Okay, and then here, we've got the chest. And shape it so you get a nice even shape. You wanna make sure that these, these two are, for lack of a better term, you wanna make sure that they're sized correctly. Otherwise it'll just look kind of awkward. There you go, that's what I mean. and then just fix it up. There you go. Now Diva is not meant to have a big chest, so don't don't exaggerate too much on the chest area. All right, and over here, it's got a little rectangle that kind of goes like this. Same thing over here. More of a square because of the way that it's angled. And then right in the center, she's got this really cute little bunny logo. And I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna make a kind of a teardrop shape or an egg shape, upside down egg, narrower at the bottom. Inside, I'm gonna draw a circle with two bunny ears coming out, one this way and one this way. Let's zoom in on that. That's the bunny logo. Let's give him some angry bunny eyes, a little bunny V nose, and then W, there you go. So that's kind of the logo that's on Diva's shirt there. Okay, so there's that. 
we've got uh, we've got some shoulder pads. Let's work on. So let's go back over here, kind of where this tapers off. It goes back out. It creates like this shape right here, and then goes down close to the armpit, and then goes out, and then down, and then kind of this is mid upper arm. You don't want to go that far down, but you want to go about here. So kind of like this C shape, and then go straight. Diagonal makes this triangle, goes in again, and goes this way. Okay, this goes out slightly, and then here we've got this curve. Actually, it's supposed to be. Let's do that again. Let's draw a an oval sticking out from that side with another oval inside and another oval inside of that. Okay, and then goes back towards the shoulder. So it's it's kind of got this almost looks like speakers. And then I'm gonna create like this around it. Oh, there's a plane that just flew overhead. Not sure if you guys heard that. Okay, so yeah, like I said, it kind of looks like speakers sticking out of the arm with a little rectangle coming up like that. All right, let's continue over here, kind of where it goes to the armpit. Right there, I'm going to draw a line. Another one going up follows this right here. And then at this point, it goes diagonal this way. And then from here, I have to create a band going around like that. Okay, from here, I sort of follow this, these lines all the way to here. Okay. From here, I draw a line this way like that. And then here, out. And then I follow it along till I reach this point. There you go. And then one more over here. It goes like this. So essentially, what I did was I divided this into one, two, three, four, I should have told you guys beforehand. And then this goes like that. So I divided this into one, two, three, four, and you do the same thing here. So there you go. I pre-divided it already. Okay. So there's this pattern. Let's do the same thing on this side, starting over here and working our way. The top of the shoulder goes out like this. Cross, down, and then out. At this point, I make this the same speaker shape over here. It kind of goes out this way. You don't really see the speaker. I don't know what it is, to be honest. And you see that over here, kind of a little bump coming out like that. Okay, same band over here goes over here. And same band going this way over here. There you go. Now let's work on this stuff. This goes this way and then down like that. This goes this way down to this point. And then this kind of just goes this way. Actually, let's bring this one slightly down this way and then goes into the armpit like that. It's kind of a weird one, but just this first one that we did, this goes this way and into the armpit. All right, there you go. Now let's work on the torso part. Shouldn't be too hard. We're gonna first start with drawing these. Okay, see these rectangles that we did here or trapezoids? We're gonna kind of do something similar. So imagine a line from here, making an X around here and this thing as well. Maybe the X is right here. So imagine it going like this and like this. Okay, a nice little X shape. And what you do is you create some more rectangles, one here and the other one here. I draw a curve instead of a straight line there and there. And then once you have that, erase that X. Make sure that 
make sure that it looks it looks straight like looks like I made mine a little lower on this side so I'm gonna bring that higher up there you go I'm erasing the center line because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start drawing some lines from here and they're faint lines they go down this way okay it curves here and it follows the contours of her body so it goes this way and then it kind of curves and it goes into the crotch area sorry I think that was all there you go so it's just these patterns that go from here and here okay it follows the curves of her body it goes down and this goes we'll leave it to there for now but it goes much further down than that and you guys want to make sure that you're following like the contours of our body right the curves that goes down that way and then this goes down like this leave it like that for now one more over here so it's just stripes vertical stripes going down and that's what that looks like you've actually also got these on the arms so one two and you also see it on this arm one two you want to make sure that they're similar in width apart okay let's draw the she's got some designs on the side here starting right here right underneath this whatever that is and we kind of want it to go into here so same point on this side going underneath so there you go should come to the same point goes back out to this side this goes out this way it goes in again this goes in as well make sure that they're all parallel and then it goes this way all the way to this line and then this goes just a short distance all the way to that line and then now kind of curves down like that and this goes this way okay clearing the way here for our design I'm gonna grab a new pencil when I do these kinds of tutorials I tend to use up maybe three or four pencils okay outline first okay it goes to there and then down you see this little curve that we did you want to go a little bit just one tiny little bit below that you want to go like this and then same thing here goes across like this okay when you get here let's go down some more she does have this x thing that goes right here in her thighs so let's do this we're going to draw a square right here crossing over these two lines and then from there to the side of the thigh So let's make this more of a diamond shape there you go okay now let's go over here we're gonna start here we're gonna bring we're gonna draw some padding kind of just sticking out from here all the way to the side and I'm only gonna draw four of them so try to even these out So you get a nice nice shape like this okay so she's got another rectangle over here and then she's got like a logo over here now and I'm just going to draw this part of the logo it gets cut off right here so you don't see the rest of it but there you go now let's go on this side we do the same thing so looks like that right around here you want this to go this way And then divide this into four and obviously this is going to be much smaller just because of the way that it's angled there you go just fixing it up okay right over here I'm gonna draw a Square. And 
goes like this. Some more logos over here. I'm just going to draw this part of the logo. No details, just like that. Okay, over here, let's draw some crotch lines. And let's continue these lines going down. So this goes this way, this goes this way, this goes this way. And then there's one more coming out from here, like that. Okay, we're almost done, you guys. We just got to do the hand now. Always the toughest part. But you guys should have this initial shape all figured out or all done. Over here, here's the wrist, wrist curve. We're going to draw a kind of a bracelet like that. Okay, now I'm going to divide this into one, two, one tiny one like this. And then I'm going to just slowly start to individually find those fingers. This will take you guys, this takes a lot of practice. And it's a lot of little steps. But that's basically what you do. Bring that that way. Bring these a little higher up so they don't look too funny. Okay, there you go. Here's the forearm goes like this and then got some stripes going this way. You can draw that little thing that she's leaning on. Just two lines, one here, one coming out over here. Okay, and then she's got this pattern in the gloves that goes from here, goes up, and then kind of peaks right there and then goes back down this way. And then I just make those thick. This kind of runs on the side of the pinky. And then she's got a second one right here that does the same thing on the other side. There you go. Once you have that, we are done with Diva, you guys. So this is Diva, the human and not the mech from Overwatch. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this tutorial video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to Instagram and tag me with your pictures so that I can see them or head on over to Google Plus and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. And if you feel like being extra generous, I have links below for different ways that you can support this channel. First is my Patreon at patreon.com slash draw2. Check it out to find out more about the rewards you get for becoming my patron. Next, I have official draw2 merchandise that you can purchase, such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And finally, you can purchase some of my art prints in my online store at draw2.storeenvy.com. Your contributions go a long way in making sure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you guys did like this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. Also, if you liked this video, commented below or shared this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are on this channel. Again, you guys, all of these links are down in the description below. Finally, Thank you once again for watching and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video.